Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Got a new video for you today, and surprise, surprise, it's not a knife. But it does have a cutting edge on it, so it kind of sort of counts. Anyway, I got this one a while ago, back when I got the last CRKT knife, which was the, uh, what the hell was that thing called? The Humdinger? Yeah, the Humdinger. So when I got the Humdinger, I also got this one, and I was waiting for the right time to do it. Now this one here is a special edition version of the CRKT uh, Woods Chogan Tomahawk. And that kind of confused me at first because when they sent it to me, they're like, hey, uh, check out this new one. You want to review that? And I'm like, sure. And I got it and I'm like, didn't I already do this? I could have swore, Di didn't I already review you at one point? pretty sure I did but at the same time something looks different so the smartest thing to do is to get online and figure out what it is and what is different about it and lo and behold there is something different about it but hmm you know what as much as I like tomahawks over axes I still don't use them that much they do have a lot of good utility though it's just a personal preference thing for me so I figured this is another cool item, just like that Top Scent Anaconda. And I already gave the original version of this a pretty good review back in the past. So why don't I just tell people what's different about this one, not beat it up, and do a giveaway, courtesy of CRKT. So if you want to find out what's different about this one, as opposed to the original one that I reviewed probably two years ago, and possibly win it, don't go away. So of course I did some checking, lo and behold, yes I did review the CRKT Woods Chogan back when it first came out. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I was actually the first person to review it. And off the top of my head, I think it was the one I called the Chuck Norris of Tomahawks. So I really did like it, because it was the first one that had come out that I liked that was kind of like going head-to-head -head with the Tomahawks that Cold Steel was putting out. And I just thought it was just a nice, nicer, more finished product. And you can't overlook the utility of a good hammer pole, you know, if you're out camping, driving in stakes, that sort of thing. But uh, when it first came out, it did not, uh, the leather sheath for this tomahawk wasn't even out yet. I mean, eventually it did come out, but it is now. So it was just a standalone tomahawk, no kind of uh, axe head cover, no kind of sheath. It, was just, it is what it is, but I still liked it. So now this is an exclusive version that you can only get from the CRKT website. This is an RMJ tactical design. So a lot of people that are into axes and tomahawks, and especially tactical tomahawks, know RMJ tactical. They're one of the pricier companies, but well sought after. So this is the same 1055 high carbon steel uh, tomahawk head that they have before. You know, same wood handle. But what is different about this one is, first of all, it does, this one comes with the leather sheath. And this one is called the Black Woods Chogan. And it has a black magnesium phosphate coating, which is supposed to make it a little bit more resistant to rust. Obviously, it doesn't mean it's rust proof. I mean, the cutting edge is, is bare metal, but it's just going to make it more resistant to rust. The other thing that is different about this is they call this a firewood burned handle. So it's a little bit more... You know, it, it's something you see a lot with people that customize to tomahawks. 
they do different methods to uh, burn the handles just to make it more aesthetically pleasing so it is burned and it is coated so those are the three biggest things that set this apart from the standard uh, woods chogan so you've got the, the sheet that's included the black mag magnesium phosphate coating and the firewood burned handle so all in all you have a much fancier cooler looking tomahawk now this one did come uh, about what it needs to be for a typical tomahawk as far as how the head seats on the handle there, a little bit easier I had to put the camera down but you can unseat the head from the handle to do all those bush crafty you know hand tomahawk type things that I don't do but if you don't want to unseat the head you can knock this down pretty good where it's not going to come loose I just didn't do that because most tomahawk heads are meant to come off and I wanted to demonstrate that, that in the video plus I didn't want to make any kind of permanent modifications to something that's going to be a giveaway item so let me get another look at this thing uh, with the leather sheath on. So with the leather sheath on, it is held in place by three, three snaps and does have a belt loop on the back. It looks like it's a pretty narrow belt loop. Um, so it's kind of up to you how you want it. I know there's so many different ways that people carry, you know, axes and tomahawks, but just showing you that this is actually what comes with it. Now as far as pricing goes, since this is a CRKT exclusive, which you can only get on the CRKT website, I went ahead and looked it up and they had this listed on there for purchase at $69.99. So then I compared it to the regular version, the original version, which doesn't, which isn't darkened and doesn't have a fancy handle, doesn't have the leather. And the original one can be purchased on Amazon for about 30 bucks. And then the sheath can be purchased for about $20. So you can get the same thing without the black phosphate coating and the fancy handle for about $50 on Amazon. Or you can get this one with the black phosphate coating and the fancy handle. You know, all in one, ready to go on the CRKT website for 69 bucks. So that is, I'm not telling you which one to go with. Uh, I'm just telling you that those are the options. It's the only place that you can get this particular special edition of this tomahawk. Now, as far as fit and finish goes, for the most part, it is pretty good. Um, the edge. feels a little rough definitely can feel the burst from the grinding uh, that's not going to affect it for chopping but you know most people like to finish their edges just like with anything it's like with a knife uh, that could probably be removed just simply by stropping or work sharp or anything relatively uh, simply and that's one thing about the, you know 1055 Tomahawks, whether they be the CRKT ones or the cold steel ones, is they're very easy to maintain with a belt sharpening system. Either the original Work Sharp or the or the the fancier Ken Onion models, uh, it's really easy to take care of. So I've had uh, I've had a lot of good luck with the 1055 type axes and tomahawks. The only one that I got I've ever had that wasn't quite perfect it's like maybe it wasn't heat treated quite right or whatnot wasn't the CRKT one but it was that cold steel axe gang hatchet uh, I don't think it was heat treated it was just too soft it was, the edge was getting banged up too much but most 1055 uh, tomahawk heads have performed rather well for me so that's a pretty good overview of what the differences are between this one and the original one Again, they're all pretty much cosmetic differences, so performance-wise, nothing's going to be different from the original review. So I've got the link to that 
uh, review uh, in the description box below if you want to see that. But this has been out for about two or so years, so a lot of people have probably seen this thing in action, seen other reviews, and they know what to expect from it. So I don't want to beat this thing up because this is going to be a fewer giveaway item. So there's the overview on the differences between the CRKT Woods Chogan and the Black Woods Chogan. Uh, if you're interested in this, the links are going to be in the description box below. But as I said before, I am going to make this a giveaway item. So if you want to win it, what you have to do is A, comment in the comment section below. B, don't let me catch you commenting or messaging me or anything asking me when there's going to be a drawing. <laughs> Jeez, you guys killed me with the last one. It'll be in a week or so. Seven to ten days, I will announce the winner of this. And also let me know in the comments section below if you already have one of these, what you think of it. All right, guys, that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepared My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click a like, share, and subscribe. Check out all the links down below to help support the channel. I'll be back with another video here soon. And if you're well-behaved, maybe even another giveaway. So see you next time.